So we are, again, your assignment, just to review, is to, you were assigned either burglary, uh, aggravated assault, or traffic accidents. We felt the reason why we picked those crimes from Montbello is because they obviously are related maybe to Mary, Mary Juana, so legalization. Um, obviously, something that would be related to that would be drug crimes, right? So I said that I would do that. So what I'm going to do before you, I give you a chance to work on your own projects is basically show you what I found. And it, it actually surprised me. <laughs> you would think legalizing drugs would make the drug problem decrease, but it didn't in Montbello. Wait, legalizing drugs? Legalizing marijuana, right? Maybe. That maybe you would think, so what would happen? You would think like maybe people would do that instead of maybe some of the other drugs, right? Since it's more available, potentially, something like that. That's what I kind of thought. But they get bored and then they start to put <sighs> yeah, the whole gateway thing, huh? I don't know. Well, something's going on. Some of it might be due to an influx of population. And I want to kind of, you know, that goes back to yesterday, right? Is that if we look at the, well, let's, let me go over the, the drug stuff. So again, here's all my, I did the same thing you did, but here's a problem with the drug crimes. Is that not every month has a drug crime in it. You know, good for my bellow. Um, so it was very sparse. So what I did was I combined all of the crimes per year, the drug crimes per year. And you can see some of the crimes that I can look at. Drug, marijuana, cell, possession, cocaine. P I didn't do PCP. There wasn't very much there. Uh, definitely uh, methamphetamine. Uh, I did cocaine and heroin. So here's what I did. I, I did basically what you did. Instead of adding up the crimes per, year, per month, I did it per year. So here are all the crimes over here. Cocaine, cocaine cell, hallucinogen. Oh, I guess I did do hallucinogen. hallucinogen. Heroin, heroin, marijuana, methamphetamine, and liquor possession. I thought liquor would be interesting. So I basically did this. Just like the function we do is, you know, I selected it. I did the graph. Here is what I came up with. Everybody see that? Well, no. Yeah, but which marijuana crime? Cell, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, that's about the only thing that's going down, which you would obviously expect, right? You know, hallucinogen. So there's hallucinogen. Here's what's blue. Cocaine selling. Not a lot of selling of cocaine in Montbello. It seems to be actually to be decreasing. But here is, here is where, so let's look at cocaine. You know, figuratively, not really. So selling is down, but let's look at, so the, dr okay, wait. <coughs> Where's cocaine possession or use? Oh, you recording when we were talking about that? <laughs> yeah. You got to edit that out? <laughs> I don't know, I'll probably leave it in. Oh, you got to edit that out? <laughs> <laughs> you better show up to practice on Saturday then. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I can send that out, can I? <laughs> yeah. What's that? What? Ben La Sol, or what, what's the one? What's the name of that song? Yensalo. Think about it. Okay. So, again, we look here, hallucinogen possession, that's pretty much nothing. Look at some of these here. Here is what kind of, this is what, kind of threw me. I would have thought like arrest for marijuana possession would have gone down once they legalized it. It's actually going up pretty significantly. You know, if you look at 2012, there was maybe five offenses for that. Now we're up to like, you know, that's almost, that's over three times. What do you think's going on here? So obviously, you know, they legalized marijuana in 2014. Who do you think they're catching with marijuana? What was the question? What's that? What was the question? 
that why do you think, who do you think is, why is this going up? Who, who are the people that they're catching with marijuana possession? Kids. kids, yeah. It is possible, given the fact that there's more marijuana around, that maybe more kids are getting it and they're getting caught with it. That's completely and utterly possible. Let's look at, ooh, this one right here. This is a nasty one. So I'm, I'm from Sterling. You all know where Sterling is? No. No, northeastern corner of the state. If you ever get a relative in prison, they'll probably end up in Sterling at some point. <laughs> Isn't there like a Supermax prison here? Yeah, that's where it, well, it's not Supermax, but it's kind of like, I, yeah, but that's in Colorado Springs, I think, or something like Pueblo. Yeah, that's like, that's the best job you can get in my town now is being like a prison guard, which is really sad. But anyway, there's a big meth and amphetamine problem in my town. Look at this. So again, this is the blue line here, right? 2001, there was one, one, two heroin possessions, one heroin possession, and then something happened in 2014. We got six. This year we got 20. That is a big trend, guys. Like something's going on there. Maybe this will fluctuate. You know, we talk about standard deviation. Maybe this is an outlier. I don't know. But the trends don't look good. And if I was a police department, I'd be like, how can we combat this heroin or methamphetamine? Let's look at heroin. Heroin's another one that's going up. So again, here's heroin. No, nobody was caught with heroin in 2011. Two people in 2012. One person... 2014 one and now this year there's 14 or the the past year 2015 another one of these which one is this liquor yeah more kids are getting caught with liquor now too which is kind of interesting yeah i don't know this is kind of this is very interesting and then of course you can see that you know there's more heroin use and there's more people getting caught selling it obviously when you see these two things, that means that, you know, maybe there's, you know, that's a bad sign when you see both selling and the use go up. That means that maybe there's, you know, somebody's, it's coming out of Montbello. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, this is kind of, you know, this is what I want you to do is just kind of talk about the results. And so I was going to mention, let's go back to my... See if I can find my one chart. Open recent aggravated assault. There it is. So again, we made this curve, right? This is aggravated assaults, and we are seeing that over time, aggravated assaults about 2014 started decreasing. And we thought, well, maybe maybe people, you know, aren't so violent anymore. <laughs> maybe they're, you know, smoking their troubles away. I don't know. But here's the deal, like, what else could contribute to that? So I, my theory is I think, I think legalizing marijuana helped, but not probably in the way that it's, like, mellowing people out. What happened after we legalized marijuana? Balboa. Well, yeah, but just people in Colorado? Uh, What's that? Yeah, they, you know, they did that. You know, they put it back into the schools. Um, so the state has more revenue. But what about, is it just people in Colorado? What's going on in Colorado? They're taking it to different places. Well, yeah, people are coming here, right? Well, the airport's know. crazy. <laughs> like flights out of here are nuts. So maybe all that influx in cash, you know, maybe people are all better off now. Our economy, if you look at Colorado compared to the other states, actually Colorado is doing much, much better than most states. You know, and this turnaround happened, it was about 2014. So maybe it's the fact that, you know, people are just better off and not so ticked off and wanting to hurt other people. I don't know. Yeah. You think if Obama, no, the next president might like actually do something about the It's coming. Well, here's the deal is I think it's going to happen in a bunch of other states. 
And then eventually, I think at the federal level, they'll just probably legalize it. But you know how things work here, you know, in government. It might be another 10 years, but I bet there's a bunch of other states that are kind of lining up to do this. What they saw was is that, you know, (laughs) you can make a lot of money from this, right? (laughs) Everybody's morals go out the window once they see, you know, the big paycheck, right? Yeah, I'm so against, you know, marijuana, blah, blah, blah. You getting how much for that? (laughs) Yeah, let's open it up. I don't know. Um, Yeah, totally. You know, it's it's interesting. And then that's the thing, too, is if I was going to make a decision on on legalizing in my state, I would look at some of this crime data, right? That I would say, ooh, assaults went down. That's nice. Oh, look, you know, uh, I think burglaries went down, right? Who's on burglaries? They went down, yeah. So that might be good. Um, Although traffic accidents went up, that's bad. So did drug use, other drug use. Again, this is just in Montbello, right? If you wanted to check this out, what else would you do? Like, you know, how would you determine if this trend is real or if it's just for Montbello? Yeah, totally. And we could totally do that. Don't worry about it. I won't make you do that. <laughs> Although, you know, honestly, I wanted to get the stuff from Parker. I kind of want to see what Parker's about. It's probably, like, much less than this, obviously. But All right. Well, that's kind of, you know, that's what I want you to do. So tomorrow, I'm going to give you the rest of the period. I want you to finish up your PowerPoints or however you want to display the data. Figure out what you're going to talk about tomorrow. And then we'll all present tomorrow. And then next week, oh, wait. Once you're done, actually what I want you to do is if you've counted up, let me show you. Okay, you know my sheet like this. I have year, month, and I have the years, and then I have the number of crimes. Send me your spreadsheet that has this information to me by the end of class. I'm going to combine it together, and then I'm going to use that jump program, and we're going to like do some correlating and I'm going to throw some demographic data in it. It's going to be awesome. So, so send me this, send me your spreadsheet with all just the month, the crimes per month. Don't send me that whole big thing. If I have to modulate it in any way, you fail. Just kidding. All right. You got the rest of the period to work on this.